Just a small, uh, let's say, correction has to do with the uh, point of view before I start the khatra. I noticed some of the brothers, even though the iqamah has started and the imam is about to start the prayer, yet they started praying the sunnah. If the fard started, the priority is to join the fard. Then you can pray the sunnah after that, no problem. The time of the sunnah is from the start of the Fajr up to the end of the time of the Fajr. So whether you pray the Sunnah before the Fard or after it's the same. It's, it's preferable to do it before. But if the Fard starts, now the priority is for what Prophet Muhammad says in the Salah, If the Iqamah has started, there is nothing that has the priority except the Fard. So don't start the Sunnah, just join the Fard, then Pray this one. Like myself, I did not pray this sunnah because I could not catch it. After I finish inshallah, I can pray to this sunnah inshallah. Okay, our khatra, small khatra. Prophet Muhammad says in an amazing hadith. Muhammad says, there is nothing that faces the believer, such as al-ham wal-ghum, worries, grief, sorrows, problems, hardships, al-nasab uh, wal-wasab, al-nasab wal-wasab al-ta'ab wal-marad, tiredness, illness, which means any kind of difficulties, such as grief, sorrow, worries, illness, tiredness, whatever. And even if he is touched or he is hurt by a thorn, you see, while he's walking, three thorns just, you know, small scratch, something like that, hatta shawka, whatever, which means very small hardship or hurt, and illa kaffar Allahu biha an khabaya, but he will be under the title of the expiation of sins, takfir no, which means his sins will be purified, will be deleted, will be cleansed by the word of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, which is great news, but this is conditioned, mashrut. The first condition, قَالْ مَا يُصِبُ الْمُؤْمِنَا He did not say مَا يُصِبُ الشَّخْصَ He did not say anyone in the street, no, no, he said الْمُؤْمِنَا which means this is conditions, I mean this is good news for the one who has achieved having a legal passport. This passport is Iman. Iman, of course, by my willpower. I'm a mu'min because I decided to be a believer. So this is the main visa or main passport to receive this kind of uh, benefits, if I may put it in this way. Now, this is the first. Now, from other hadiths, we can understand other conditions. That when I face these things, basically, I have to receive it with rida, with satisfaction. If Allah decided to let me be ill, okay? Without any problem from my side, I did not throw myself in the street, I did not have anything bad. Just, I woke up and I'm, I have, for example, infection in my throat for one week and I'm not able to do anything. You know, sometimes, small flu, it's not small, actually, flu, flu kills. <laughs> yes, but we think that is, is normal, but it kills about 5 million people on a yearly basis, especially elderly people. So flu kills. Anyway, I have a flu. Alhamdulillah. What can I do? Take the medicine. Alhamdulillah. Am I losing part of my daily? Yes. Am I losing some kind of benefits? Yes, 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 yes. I'm not able to talk. I'm not able to see the people. I'm not able to move. I'm not able. Whatever. Alhamdulillah. Allahumma lak alhamdulillah. Allahumma lak alhamdulillah. So the first condition to be a believer. Second condition to receive Allah's decisions with regard to something like hardship by saying Alhamdulillah. Lillah. With these conditions, in a, in a very brief way, it will be facing completely the expiation, which is takfir al مَا يُصِبُ الْمُؤْمِنَ مِنْ هَمَّنْ وَلَا غَمَّنْ وَلَا نَصْرٌ حَتَّى الشَّوْكَ إِلَّا كَفَّرَ اللَّهُ بِهَا الْخَطَيَا This is how we should receive أَقْدَارُ الله. You know, the decisions of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But the first thing, so not to be misunderstood, this has nothing to do with, I'm, with myself and I'm falling in short. Which means, if what I'm facing is part of my problem, taqseer, what is happening is part of the punishment. 
For example, I decided to drink alcohol because I'm drunk. I caused a car accident. <laughs> this is the natural consequence of the law. Now I'm not supposed to drink alcohol, <laughs> so I broke the law. <laughs> I am drunk wrestler now. I'm attacking the law of Allah. Part of the natural consequence, I lost my mind. So therefore, I caused a car accident. Now this is not has nothing to do with takfir al no, This is punishment now. <laughs> I have to go back and to apologize and to fix the problem. I'm responsible, and this is just a small part of the punishment. This has nothing to do with my first hadith, so as not to mix things together.